is kale healthy or not? So we know that kale has been touted as one of the main green superfoods, high in antioxidants. And, you know, we really have to ask the question. There are some sort of hidden facts about kale that you may not have heard about in terms of toxicity levels that can be a little bit concerning. So towards the end of the video, I'll sort of give my either thumbs up or thumbs down on my opinion on kale. But we do know that kale does have a lot of cancer prevention properties. It c contains naturally glucosinolates, and these are known to definitely protect our cellular function. And that's really important, as, especially for prevention of disease as we're aging. Now, the question does come up about kale for anybody who has thyroid concerns or a lack of iodine. Is it goitrogenic, meaning that it traps iodine? And yes, it could be potentially goitrogenic. If you steam it lightly, then that goitrogenic effect is nullified. And the controversy here is that not all endocrinologists or experts that deal with thyroid function agree that eating kale, and you'd have to eat large, large amounts of kale or some of the other goitrogenic foods to actually have that goitrogenic effect at trapping that iodine. And we know, of course, that iodine is very important for our thyroid function. So that's still questionable and up in the air. Now, one of the things that you probably haven't heard about kale in terms of the toxicity issues is that it may be high in thallium. So thallium is a heavy metal that commonly will be part and parcel of eating kale, especially if it is from the west coast of the USA in California. This was discovered when patients were going and having some heavy metal testing done with their doctors and they discovered that they were very high in these heavy metals, especially the thallium, and they ate a lot of kale. And it was discovered that because of the wastewater from fracking in terms of the US and the fracking is the the use of water to pump down and break apart rocks and for natural gas and this is something that you know you can definitely look more into this but that wastewater from this process from the fracking was then used to spray on fields and was known to have high levels of that thallium. And so this is something that, again, even organic farming is known to use heavy metals as fertilizers, so things like copper are used. So where we often say that going organic is definitely better, maybe not in the case sometimes of, you know, some of these plants that are known to really trap and chelate these heavy metals within their cellular structure themselves. And this is often the green leafy vegetables will trap those heavy metal toxins. So. It's definitely the best way to get your kale is organic. You grow your, yourself, you know exactly what's in the soil and what you're watering that, that plant with definitely is the best way to go or from a farm that you know uses organic, you know, and not heavy metal fertilizers in their farming methods. So that's very important. Now the way that I go in terms of, you know, getting my kale is I take it in a standardized extract that has been freeze dried and it's tested for heavy metals, but also for pesticide residue to make sure that there's none of that in there. So for me, that's the best way to do it. Not to, you know, I definitely do eat kale in my diet, always making sure it's organic and unfortunately not <laughs> from the west coast of the USA. So I get more organically grown in, in my own vicinity where I live here in Canada. So that's just me. Now, when we talk about thallium toxicity and, and a lot of the symptoms related to heavy metal toxicity can be fatigue, headache, it could be a lot of hair loss, alopecia, it could be visual disturbances and in sleep disorders like insomnia, even low mood and depression, loss of appetite and low stomach acid and a lot of GI distress, so a lot of, you know, gas and bloating and problems with the digestive tract. And that could be just from having your healthy kale smoothie in the morning. Here you think you're doing something good for yourself or eating your kale salads or your kale chips and things and you're actually you know getting more toxic because of that heavy metal and that thallium exposure so something to think about definitely look at the sourcing of where you're getting your kale from and make those decisions for your own healthy diet so there you have it we talked about is kale healthy or not I hope that if you are a kale eater I want to hear from you maybe you've experienced some of these symptoms so 
I would definitely love to hear from you. If you've got questions, you know, about other vegetables that could be problematic, please drop it in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well. And I would love to get that big thumbs up from you as well. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll click that subscribe button and also turn on the post notifications by clicking that bell. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching.